Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, my name is Tay. I'm a personal trainer in Dallas and I am training to become a dog behaviorist. And I'm currently in an internship. I will link all of the information of my internship in the description box below. Just in case you're in the DFW area and you are looking to get into the industry as well. And today I thought that we could do a little bit of recall. Recall is great because this is a command that you can use for your dog inside your home, outside your home, on walks, in the yard, really anywhere. And basically what recall is, is when you are calling your dog to come to you, whatever they're doing, they stop what they're doing, they turn, they come and find you, sit right next to you and their focus is on you. So every time that you are recalling your dog, they should be coming to you and it takes a lot of work to get there but once you get there super rewarding and again you can use it anywhere super 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 excited to work on recall with my dogs and i just love this i think everyone should practice recall with their dogs so with that being said let's go ahead and get into it also if you hear thumping in this video that is not for my camera or me or my dogs that is our upstairs neighbor i love that for us Let's go ahead and get our actor into the shot. Marlene, come. Good boy. Sit. Good, nice boy. Marlon has learned a little bit of recall. You could have noticed that he was very slow to it, but also my energy wasn't super ecstatic either. So I think it's very, normal for your dog to match your energy. And I've got the leash right here, just in case he runs past me or needs a little bit of guidance. So what I'm gonna do first is I wanna test Marlon's boundary, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the leash, and I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna say Marlon, come one time. One time is it because I want him to know when I say a command one time, I mean it. I do not mean come to me on the eighth time. <laughs> I mean come to me on the first time. Very important, do not repeat yourself. You're not a broken record. Say it once. So I'm gonna say, Marlon, come. Good, sit. Good, so we're learning a little bit. He's a little too far away. I would like him a little bit closer. So I'm gonna say, Marlon, come. Also, you can use food, you can use treats, you can use their favorite toy, you can use praise. Really depends on what your dog's drive is. Let's go ahead and try that again. And whenever you're practicing this, you don't want to just shush your dog away and be like, shoo, go away, let's practice recall. Let them kind of sniff around and, and smell out the environment, and once their focus is away from you or they're at a good enough distance for you to practice recall, you can go ahead and do that. Marlon, count. Good. Sit. Good. Marlon, count. Good. Sit. Good boy. Good job. That's good boy. So Marlon loves praise. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple little treats and I wanna play this recall game where it's not so much getting distance from your dog, but more getting in front of them, having them come and sit, reward. Having them come and sit, reward. Okay, so it's kind of like follow the leader. Also, you can play a little hide and go seek if you're into that thing and hide in between the doors and some cabinets and stuff in your house and have your dog come and find you. Try it, leave a comment below on how it works but I bet you it'll be fun for the whole family. We're gonna go ahead and play the follow me. Marlon, count. Good, sit. Good boy, good. Marlon, count. Good, good job. Marlon, count. Good, awesome. Count. Good, nice, nice. Count. Good boy. We don't really have much room to work around here, but we're doing what we've got. I would train outside, however, where we live. It's a little noisy and there's a bit of wind, 
so it would just be very windy and the audio wouldn't be that great. But we're working with what we've got. Come. Good. Good. So I probably need to get a little more excited. Come. Good boy. Good. And right as he approaches me, you can tell I get nice and strong and tall. Huh? I get nice and tall, not so much strong. Oh. <laughs> okay. Marlon, come. Good. Nice. Marlon, come. Good. You kind of see a little bit of the first couple steps into getting your dog to come when being called the first time. Once you feel like your dog is doing pretty well with a shorter leash, you can go ahead and upgrade them to a 15 footer and then you can go to a 20 or 30 foot leash and on and then you can go to e-collar training if you would like that too and oh one second gotta answer this. a few moments later we're back i got another dog i got a happy dog it's just a happy happy dog oh, just a happy happy dog it's a happy happy guy oh just a happy 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 guy oh just a look at that a happy so what we're gonna do with Zozo, because Zozo is very food driven, okay? Very food driven and she actually needs a lot of recall work because she is a hound mix and her prey drive is insane, okay? Her sniffer is always going like crazy and she has a very high prey drive, which means that she wants squirrels and anything that is running or anything that's moving or whatever. She just, she has a giant prey drive to just go and get whatever is in motion. And Marlon has a very high pack drive. So he's pretty packed thin. Zoe is getting there. So let's try recall on Zoe. Zoe, come. Sit. Good, that's perfect. Zoe, come. Good, good. Zoe, come. Good. Nice. Zoe, come. Good. Good. Zoe, come. Good. Nice. Oh, yeah. She loves this. Zoe, come. Good. Nice. Zoe, come. Good. Nice. Good. Awesome. So, that is a little bit of the first steps in recall. And I'm hoping I explained all of that right. I know that that was a little messy. It wasn't so much of a step one, step two, step three that I was assuming, but I want these videos to be real and raw. And I want to look back and be able to see how far my videos have come, how far my training has come, how far my dogs have come. I just, I'm super glad that I was able to gain the knowledge just to make this video and hopefully make it make a little bit of sense to someone. With that being said, I am really excited to continue to film training videos for you. And I don't want to shy away from my personal trainer life either, but I just absolutely love what I do. And I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Bye.